Hello guys, Kendall here. Sorry about the late upload again. I'm really trying to meet my desired schedule. I really am. However, stuff just won't let me work in peace. I know this deck this has it <coughs> during my Saturday stream, but this is a much more in-depth look about it and about my reasoning for a few choices. This Red Eyes Butter Blader deck isn't one of the best decks out there. Personally, I'm more of a fan of the level 1 approach, but I digress. The basic idea is to send materials to the graveyard with Red Eyes Fusion and then establish the Buster Blade lock. Now, let's go with a card by card. One Dark Magician and not one, but three Red Eyes Dragons for the Vanillas. Obviously, they exist solely as a target for Red Eyes Fusion. One Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon because it's revival and the card is pretty much OP. Two OG Buster Bladers and one Dree Train for the main lineup of Warriors. One Red Eyes Flare Dragon and one Red Eyes Toon Dragon as fuel for the draw cards. One Metal Dragon because why not? Standard Destruction Sword Monster lineup with Triple Whelp and two Dragon Buster followed by the Lonely Stone of Legend. For the spell, there's the Consistency lineup, Triple Allure, Double Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, two cards of Redstone, and two Toon Table of Content, so Red Eyes Toon Dragon can be searched for even more deck thinning. Then we're playing the only fusion spell in the deck, the Overpowered Red Eyes Fusion, and three copies of Return of the Dragon Lords. This one has two main purposes in the deck. One is obviously to revive a dragon from the graveyard, while the other is to maintain Buster Dragon on the field pass its intended destruction due to prologue's effect. It's a very good fit for the deck considering the amount of discards and sending it does. For one-offs we have one for one to get those sweet level one monsters and Harvey's Feather Duster because back row. We're finishing the main deck with the standard well loved destruction sword trap package with double memories and triple prologue. The extra deck consists of not one but three Red Eyes Fusion targets, in form of a single Red Eyes Dark Dragoon and two Red Eyes Slash Dragons. Afterwards, there's the standard Buster Lock with double Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman and triple Buster Dragons, followed by the one-offs in form of Hot Red Dragon Archer in the Abyss, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon, Nightmare Unicorn, Phoenix and Cerberus, Predator Plant, Verte Anaconda and Protecto Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. And this wraps up this deck nicely. Would I recommend it for competitive play? The idea is solid but I think my execution is lacking. There also exists a very high chance of bricking with 10 monsters you really don't want to see in your opening hand. That's mostly the reason for running all the draw power cards since all those monsters can be used not only as fusion material but also as draw power, giving them an additional purpose and making those brick hands a bit more manageable. Unless you're me and you open 5 level 7 monsters completely bricking your hand altogether, but I digress. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. The buzzer later part of the deck doesn't suffer from the summoning restriction both Red Eyes Fusion and Verte Anaconda have, making it a very good partner for Red Eyes as a whole. The additional bonuses from the Red Eyes part of the deck are Obviously, all the dragon it provides, which are materials for summoning of the Buster Blader, the Dragon Destroyer Swordsman, but also the main deck targets for Return of the Dragon Lords. If I had to cut something, that would be the one Red Eye Slash Dragon, which I would replace with a Link Curry Bow. And that would be it. Now, please enjoy the replays, and before you do, remember to like the video and subscribe if you haven't. <laughs>